Good morning, friends. Welcome back to my kitchen, or welcome if you are new. I am Denise. It is Saturday, so I am going to start getting some things ready for the upcoming week. First thing I'm going to do is chop up all this lettuce and get it washed and into a big bowl. So it'll all be ready for salads. into my strainer for the spin dry after it's rinsed. Okay, that's been rinsed off. Good half a cup of water. And we'll do it one more time. This big bowl. Okay, there's our lettuce. Now I'm going to peel this carrot. Might have to get another one out. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to get another carrot. And I'm going to slice up this cucumber, get this peeled. And I'll cube it up. And put the last of these onions in here. And we'll get this tossed around. I don't think I'll put the cheese on it until we eat salads. Now that we have this all ready to go, we'll be more than likely to have a dinner salad with our dinners. All right, there's that. Oh, 
Okay, now I am boiling up about a cup worth of dry pasta, the tri-colored kind. I'm going to make a bit of a pasta salad to go a couple days for my lunches. I found a half an onion in the refrigerator that I need to get diced up and into a jar so it'll get used. This has about five more minutes to cook. I need some of this onion out for my pasta salad. I need more than that. Now the rest can go in the fridge. Put some cheddar cheese in there also. I like French and Italian on my pasta salads. And I also found some pepperoni in the fridge that needs to get used, so I quartered them. onion and pepperoni in here. Okay, my pasta has finished cooking. It's in the strainer in the sink. So while that's draining, I'm just going to brown up a pound of this premium pork sausage it's an Appleton brand that you get at Walmart. I'm going to get this fried up because I need half of it for our breakfast quesadillas that we're going to do on Tuesday. And I have a half a pound of cooked hamburger in the freezer for our hamburger helper. So that's done already. Gonna get this cooked up, and then I got some more produce I need to take care of. So after this is cooked, I'll bring you back. Okay, my sausage is cooked. I'm just gonna shut this off and leave it sit here and cool down. There's not much for grease on here. Well, maybe I will drain it. I did decide to boil some eggs. The water just got boiling, so I'm going to set my timer for 10 minutes. And now for this. So I have onion and pepperoni in here, and the pasta. I'm going to add some cheddar cheese. My zesty Italian. And sweet and tangy French. Some green pepper would have been good in, in here too, but I don't have any. Alright, 
there's another thing off the to-do list. And this, once it's cooled, I'm going to separate it into two half-pound containers. One will go in the freezer and one will go in the fridge. I'll bring you back. Okay, my eggs have boiled for 10 minutes and I've had them sitting in cold water for a couple minutes. I like peeling my eggs before they get too cooled down. It seems to work a little bit better for me. Okay, eggs are done. Let them cool a little bit more. Okay, now I'm going to take care of the broccoli we got yesterday. I'm going to cut it into big chunks for right now. And then after I wash it, I'll uh, put it into smaller florets for on salads and stuff. Okay, so for right now, I'm going to put cold water in this. All right, cold water and vinegar. Quarter cup of vinegar. This will kill bacteria that's on there. It's going to sit in here for two minutes. ends off. Okay, this has been two minutes. I'm just going to put my asparagus right in here and let this soak for two minutes while I rinse this off. I'm just going to lay these out on this towel. Let them air dry for a while before I start cutting them up. Then after this has been in here for two minutes, I'll drain them and rinse them and lay them out on this towel also. So I'll bring you back. Okay, now we're going to take care of these. My asparagus, I put into a jar, stand them up. I'll put a little bit of water in the bottom of the jar and then they'll sit in the refrigerator until we're ready to use them and they will stay good for a week or two. I just got about an inch of a inch of water in there. Now my broccoli, I'm going to store in this half gallon glass jar. And I am going to cut these up a little bit more. And I always put a paper towel in the bottom.
Okay, now we got the broccoli and asparagus taken care of. Okay, now I'm going to shred up this block of Parmesan cheese that I bought a couple weeks ago at Aldi. And when I shred Parmesan, I like to use this small grating end of it. Because I've noticed I'm not using it since it's not shredded. So this way, I'll pull this out instead of that stuff in the jar. So I'm just going to get this done, and I think that'll be it for the day. So I'd like to thank you for spending this time in the kitchen with me. If you like this kind of kitchen content, please subscribe to my channel. I'd love to have you part of my YouTube family. We'll see you on the next one. Bye.